There it is, Bennu, a diamond-shaped chunk of rock and dust and who knows what else. Well, soon we could actually have a pretty good idea. We're actually going to collect the sample and bring it back down to Earth for further examination by scientists. Three, two, one. If only it were that simple. And liftoff of OSIRIS-REx. NASA's OSIRIS-REx left Earth four years ago. Its first trick, traveling more than 330 million kilometers to catch up with an incredibly dark asteroid barely 500 meters in diameter. Then matching Bennu's orbit and rotation as it hurtles around the sun at 100,000 kilometers per hour. Get it right and they could literally pick up clues to understanding the formation of our solar system. If you're able to collect a sample from an asteroid, Ultimately, what you've done is gone back in time by four and a half billion years to understand what the raw ingredients of the solar system are. In order to collect a sample, they needed a flat spot at least 50 meters across, covered in fine-grained material, or sand, basically. Instead, we saw these mountains, we saw boulders, we saw rocks. And that is where Canada comes in. The Canadian-built and designed OSIRIS-REx laser altimeter took about three billion measurements, creating a hyper-accurate 3D model of Bennu. As Canadians, we should be really, be really proud of our contribution here because this Canadian technology has really done something that, that has never been done before. Armed with the most detailed map in the history of space exploration, OSIRIS-REx could ease slowly down to a small spot on the surface, extend its sample collector, and vacuum up a few grams of Bennu. So we've got one more firing of thrusters. Tonight, the moment of truth. Touchdown declared. Sampling is in progress. All right. All right. It could be a week before they can tell if they have a viable sample, but for space exploration, it's already a win. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.